A common practice as you develop your drawing is to measure a length, distance, radius, diameter, angle, or area of drawing elements. To do this, you use the measure tools, which you will find on the Analyze tab in the Measure ribbon group. In this lesson, you will learn measure length, measure distance, measure angle, measure radius, and measure area. Let's continue with the Measuring Elements DGN in the Measuring Elements model. Using your middle mouse wheel, roll forward to zoom in on the upper part of the design. On the Analyze tab, in the Measure Ribbon group, select the Measure Length tool. This tool makes it easy to measure the length of an element. Select one of the vertical lines at the top. Read the length in the Tool Settings window. It should be 71.52 meters. In addition, the direction or angle of the selected line is displayed. Both length and angle are shown in the status bar, as well as the message field. For a closed element, the perimeter value is displayed. Select one of the circles or shapes to find the perimeter of the circle. If you want to measure the total length of several elements, you can select them in advance. Let's measure the length of the figure at the upper right, which is composed of separate lines and an arc. There is an easy way to activate the element selection without the need to switch from one ribbon tab to another. Press the spacebar to open the pop-ups toolbox where you can access most common tools or open a frequently used ribbon group. Pick the first icon on the second row to activate element selection. Drag a selection rectangle around the figure shown to select all elements in it. Select measure length and read the total length of the selected elements in the tool settings window or in the status bar. It should be 206.4675 meters. Click anywhere in the view window to return to element selection and click again to clear the selection. There are several ways to measure the distance between two points or elements. On the Analyze tab in the Measure Ribbon group, select the Measure Distance tool. In the Tool Settings window, ensure the method is set to Between Points. Let's measure the distance between the two solid vertical lines. To measure the distance exactly, you will snap to the endpoints of both lines. Move the cursor close enough to the lower end of the point of the first line until a bold yellow X appears. Data point to snap to this point. Move the cursor close enough to the lower end point of the first line until a bold yellow X appears. Data point to snap to this point. Move the cursor to the lower end of the second line until the bold yellow X appears. Data point to snap to the second endpoint. Read the measured distance in the tool settings, which should be 19.2 meters. To continue measuring distances, snap to another point, for example, on the figure to the right of the first figure. Read the information in the tool settings window. You'll note the distance is cumulative. The distance between the last two points as well as the total distance from the start point is displayed. Press reset to stop measuring. Hint, by using other methods of the measure distance tool, you can measure a distance along or perpendicular to an element or measure the minimum or maximum distance between two elements. There are also tools to measure the radius of a circle or arc or the angle between line segments. On the Analyze tab, in the Measure Ribbon group, select the Measure Radius tool. Select one of the circles representing the tree and read its radius and diameter in the tool settings. In the Measure Ribbon group, select the Measure Angle tool. Following the prompt, select a first line segment, for example, in one of the blue shapes. Select a second line segment and read the angle between both segments in the tool settings. Finally, you will measure the area of a closed element. In the Measure Ribbon tool, select the Measure Area tool. In the Tool Settings window, ensure the method is set to Element. Select one of the larger circles and read its area and perimeter in the tool settings. 
Hint, the tool has additional methods to measure the area defined by overlapping closed elements or by multiple non-closed elements. You can find out more information about these methods in the Annotating Designs module where hatching and patterning areas is explained. Click on the File tab and then select Close to close MeasuringElements.dgn. In this lesson, you learned Measure Length, Measure Distance, Measure Angle, Measure Radius, and Measure Area. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.